the last topic of unit 1 will be covered in today's class that's nothing but devices which can be connected to our plc i'm setting the background is this background okay yes sir devices connected to plc okay so let us see the devices which can be connected to plc so basically we can categorize this into two type one is input devices right another one guess what it will be output devices very nice output devices output devices i think you understand the behavior of the entire world maybe industry maybe any system it behave in this way it read the content from input device and accordingly do updation on output devices right please acknowledge whether you satisfy yes sir or not yes sir okay. that is the reason we are discussing in particular about the devices which can be connected to plc so so we got to know that there are two types of devices which can be connected to any controller including the industrial controller plc one is input another one output further the we all know that i'm just recalling the purpose of input devices is to give data agree or not what is the purpose of input devices to give data to give data and what is the purpose of output devices what is the purpose of output devices collect data no no to facilitate to facilitate to configure Huh? Target machine. Please try to understand this. The purpose of output device is to facilitate to configure target machine. I just try to explain you what is the meaning of this thing. Just consider this example. Let us suppose that we want to. smartly run a target machine called as motor pump right motor pump so for that what we need to do is we need to get data from input device about to make a decision the input device in this particular case can be the level sensor from the reservoir agree or not agree sir yeah so what we will do is we read from input device example here level sensor then we have a controller in which program is available which decide whether to make the motor pump on or off controller decide to uh, to make motor pump on or off in between input device and controller hurry in between controller and motor pump what will be available that is nothing but 
one of the output device that is nothing but in this particular case is actuator is what actuator so what is the purpose of actuator is to take input from controller and make the motor pump on or off just see this thing what i have listed about output device basically it facilitate to configure the target machine the same terminology is used in our machine learning or artificial intelligence <clears throat> if we make an intelligent system then the purpose of input device in the system is to give data and the purpose of output device is to facilitate to configure the target machine hope it is clear to everybody please acknowledge yes, sir. everybody i want other voices yes sir everybody understanding or not let me know this thing it's very difficult to know because you are actually not in, uh, uh, visible to me so i cannot see you i cannot uh, uh, see the state of so you are understanding that's why your acknowledgement it is very very necessary thing for me okay so i i want you to pay attention and acknowledge and this is very very useful subject hope you all understand can i move further sure sir so i'm using the same screen to move further about the devices so to elaborate the different type of devices connected to pf i have my class there on thodi there chali input devices first one it can be डिजिटल इनपुट डिवाइस इलियास इलियास खानी साहब को कोरोना हो गया कहते आई गॉट टू नो दैट मिस्टर इलियास खानी गॉट कोविड ओके आई एम सॉरी आई वाज टॉकिंग टू माय कोलीग अ डिजिटल and it can be of family and analog let us see further what do you mean by digital input devices we all know that it is a device which give data of the form 0 or 1 agree or not yes, yes sir no. or of the form no or yes or of the form 0 volts and 5 volts or of the form 0 volts and 24 volts so this is about an introduction to uh, digital input devices uh, 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 data output representation the data coming out of digital input device can be of this zero or one logic or can be of no or yes logic or can be of zero volt five volt form or can be of zero volt 20 volt form how about analog yes how about analog i want answer from your side शरीफ बाबा बोलिए हाउ आर डेनलॉग मोहम्मद अरबाज पाशा हाउ आर डेनलॉग सर ऑन ऑफ सर नो 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 ऑन ऑफ इज ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन डिजिटल acha one more again right on off that is that is again belong to digital okay what is the data representation of analog input devices 
प्लीज गेस सर ए ए बी ए बी sorry that is wrong the data representation of analog is actually continuous is what continuous if it is represented in number numeric form it can be represented with number minus infinity to plus infinity please acknowledge yes no yes sir yes, example example so if suppose i am interfacing a potentiometer the potentiometer can give voltage zero the potentiometer can give voltage 0.001 volt 0.002 volt and so on up to 5 volt just see the difference between this data representation and this data representation can you tell what is the difference between these two please try to make this interactive class sir so it is in point ha boliye baba don't hesitate decimal form mein sir ha you are uh, almost there A -a any more clarification what is the difference between these two girl precise value sorry precise value sir Yeah, yeah, you are still almost there, but need more more clarification. Girls, girls, somebody want to uh, pay attention? Mohiyuddin, are you there? Mohiyuddin, Mir Mohiyuddin Ali Khan, are you there? Chaliye, CM, 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 please help me. Yes, sir. Ah. Precisely, my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I will take you to the exact answer. How many numbers are you able to see here? CM, please answer. Three numbers, sir. Zero and five. It's looking two. Okay. Okay. Two numbers. Yes. yes. Sir. How many numbers are you able to see over here? Either three. Three can be one. Zero point zero zero one point zero zero two so on up to five. Yes, sir. कितने होंगे? Point zero one into how much is equal to five? So calculate this how much? Please tell me the answer. Zero point zero five, sir. Come on, yeah. Five hundred, sir. Five hundred. Yes, five hundred, sir. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Thank you for that. There are how many numbers in left, uh, right, and side case? Five hundred. Five hundred numbers. There are how many numbers here on left hand side case? Two numbers. Two numbers. That is the difference. That is the difference. If the number of representation are only two, usually it is called as binary number system. Or digital number system, or uh, uh, or the data output coming from digital input devices. If the number of data generating by input device are more than two, usually, then it is called as analog input devices. You see, in this particular case, it is looking to be five hundred. As the resolution value, we can call this value, the increment value, as resolution. As the resolution value goes down, the number of representation also goes up accordingly. Hope you are able to understand me. This is very very yes. important concept, at least for instrumentation engineer. 
understanding of the data output coming from digital input device and analog input device is very very necessary thing so what you need to understand is what you need to keep in your mind is in general okay the number of data giving or generating by analog input device is ye kitna likha mai jaldi se bolo minus infinity to infinity to main infinite bol do infinite data in general infinite data in specific it is more than 2 in specific it is more than, more than two. 2 yes so just keep in your mind if number of data generating by input devices are more than 2 it is called as analog input device if number of data generating by input device is restricted to only 2 and it is called as digital input devices hope it is clear to everybody yes sir clear now, yes sir now let us move further let us move further oh uh, can i have a feedback from any of the girl so that i get to know that you are also listening not willing to give feedback just you write in text box that you are understanding yes sir understanding you are understanding you you understand that the number of data point coming out of digital input device is only 2 and analog input device is more than 2 in general analog uh, input device is giving infinite data set whereas digital input device is giving finite input set right this general point always keep in mind right okay now i'm moving further now what we need to do next is example of examples examples of input devices examples of input devices this is important digital please check your knowledge existing knowledge and give me the examples of digital digital input devices first one jaldi se bolo ha theek hai main bolunga aap usko acknowledge karna on off switch agree or not yes can you justify actuators can you justify on off switch is falling in the category of digital input devices kaise justify karenge let's see the data set producing by on off switch in the state of on it is giving on output in the state of off it is giving off value so altogether it is generating how many uh, data set sorry uh, 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 how many values in data set only two values no. so that's why it is it is belonging to digital input devices category theek hai or not yes. is it okay or not yes sir any other input device i'm just giving please justify 
लिमिट स्विच वेरी वेल फाइंड लिमिट्स वो बता दूंगा मैं आपको एलिवेटर्स इट इज अवेलेबल इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल एलिवेटर्स लिमिट स्विच ओके कैन वी से दैट लिमिट स्विच बिलोंगिंग टू डिच कैटेगरी इफ यस हाउ यू सी लिमिट स्विच गिव आउटपुट जीरो वोल्ट when it is not at the destination when it is at the destination flow it give output 24 volts so can we say that limit switch is belonging to digital device category yes no yes sir you see the elevator suppose i press the requesting button of elevator from fourth floor the limit switch is available with the elevator when it is reached the the target uh, uh, destination it give the output 24 volts when it is not at the target it give keep on giving zero volts aisa hota ho limit switch i will show you the diagram show you the diagram when it reach the destination floor make the contact it make the contact with destination flow and give 24 volt output so limit switch is also belonging to this category third example level ah uh, level is sometime not always proximity level instead of proximity switch proximity switch where can we find proximity switch door automation are you able to see this at door automation it may be at elevator or it may be at any other place for automation of door we use proximity switch proximity switch sends the presence of the object accordingly make the door open or close so proximity switch is giving 0 volt or 24 volts output as the data based upon the uh, 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 the event uh, 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 becomes success or not so can we say that it is also belonging to the category digital input device yes sir so list is keep on growing like that there are so many examples of input digital input devices so you may get a question in examination that uh, explain the devices connected to plc with examples in that case you need to first explain uh, 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 the thing which i have just now explained after that you need to cover these examples now i am moving further quickly go to the uh, next example analog input devices analog input devices okay first example chaliye koi bol sakta hai analog input devices always keep in mind the thing which i have given you at first analog input devices generate more data the number of data generation should be more than 2 okay that is the very very important point to be remember always bolie okay. any device you know sensors category sensors adc sorry adc hai sir nahi baba adc is actually a facilitator it's not sensor input devices are always sensors sir potentiometer correct very very nice excellent potentiometer just let us see how potentiometer is falling in this category chaliye in order to explain you this thing i am just drawing the rough sketch of a potentiometer this is the reference voltage which is applied to potentiometer okay and this is the 
knob of potentiometer which is movable this value is total resistance and this value is actual resistance when the knob of potentiometer is moved up then ri is also increasing when the knob of potentiometer goes down ri is also decreasing so how can we write this output voltage equation v out is equal to apply voltage division rule v reference into ra divided by rd plus ra correct jaldi se bolo yes sir ha ah, you see vo is can we say that directly proportional to ra this is constant this is constant and rt value is rt plus ra value or we can say uh, okay for simplicity this is not constant for simplicity we can ignore this thing so we can say that v output value is directly proportional to ra so the more the value of ra the more the value of va sorry vo that is the output coming from potentiometer so in that case i can write that approximately the set value of vo to be many variants of uh, 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 many variants of ra ra is actually starting from 0 ohms and goes up to how much rt right rt covering a ra when ra become equal to rt then vo is almost proportional to rt if you understand this it is okay otherwise just remember that the output voltage contain my proportionality sign likhna be zaruri hai Ah, the output voltage contain many data sets that's why it is falling in the category of analog input device chaliye bataiye samajh mein aaya nahi aaya yes exact value if you want about r v not so it will be starting from 0 volts and the maximum value of this is equal to v reference V O is equal to V reference when V R A is equal to R T. इन्हें जाके इधर ऊपर बढ़ गया ना तो दोनों potential दोनों potential equal हो जाएंगे. Is it clear or not? Yes. Yes no. Is it clear or not? Yes sir clear. Okay. Now I'm moving further. Going to cover. other input devices or uh, no uh, input devices are over now let us start output devices output devices ab chaliye output devices ko thoda sa introduction denge the way in which we learn input devices in the same way we try to learn output devices what are the data which can fed to digital output device and what are the data which can fed to analog output devices chaliye boliye data fed to this device kya hoga what data we can feed to digital output device jaldi jaldi se boliye digital data what is that again the same thing zero volts or five volt only two volts not more than that how about analog more than two more than two example Example. 
जीरो वोल्ट पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन वोल्ट पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू वोल्ट पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री वोल्ट एंड सो ऑन अप टू मैक्सिमम वैल्यू लाइक फाइव वोल्ट इज इट ओके दिस इज फॉर दिस इज फॉर लो वोल्टेज डिवाइस हाउ वोट फॉर हाई वोल्टेज डिवाइस हाई वोल्टेज डिवाइस हाई वोल्टेज डिवाइस जीरो वोल्ट टू थर्टी वोल्ट इन दिस केस हाई वोल्टेज डिवाइस there is no sense to feed to uh, analog high vo voltage devices analog high voltage devices are not existing only digital high voltage devices are existing right that's why this is not necessary to discuss hope introduction to the data which can fed to uh, different output devices are clear to everybody yes sir clear uh, now let us see the types of not examples i instead i can write instead of writing type i will write examples example of example of output devices digital is here Analog is there. Okay, tell you. Tell me. First example of digital output device. दिमाग को खंगाली और बोलिए. Relays. Relays, sir. Correct. Very good. Relay is an example of digital output device. कैसा बोलेंगे आप? Relay is an example of digital output device. Only here two values will get, sir. On and off. हाँ. To relay. We give, huh? Zero volt or five volt. Accordingly, it control the output device. This is some kind of a bulb. We have a bulb. Okay, bulb. We have a bulb. so with the help of this relay the bulb can get 5 volt or 0 volt it's like a switch it's like a switch operated with electrical control You provide from this side zero volt or five volt accordingly. It control the output device. So it's a facilitator to control con configure the target machine. Chali. Any other output device example? Falling in the category of digital. What is your opinion? Sorry. LEDs. What is your opinion about solenoid valves? Yes, sir. Solenoid valve. Yes. Solenoid. And coils also, sir. Coils. Which coils? That uh, transformer coils. Sir. Huh. transformer coil okay boliye any more forgetting very very important thing actuators
इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल रिले दिस इज दिस इज दैट ओनली ओके स्टिल कांटेक्टर हां कांटेक्टर इज आल्सो कांटेक्टर इज आल्सो DC motors AC motors AC motor is also falling in the category of digital output device iske bare mein i want your comment i want your comment on ac motor why it is belonging to the category of digital output device mohiyuddin you are trying to answer mir mohiyuddin are badi pareshani hai aur aap logon se are zuban kyun nahi khol rahe aap log wo samajh mein nahi aa raha yes sir अरे बाबा ये ए, ए सी नहीं आ रही यार दिमाग खराब हो जा रहा ना पंखा है ना ए सी है चलिए चलिए शरीफ बाबा आई आस्क यू क्वेश्चन मोहुद्दीन शेख Can I sir sir please can you repeat the question sir i am repeating the question i have listed over here that ac motor is an example of digital output device can you comment on this my answer is correct or wrong my statement is correct or wrong AC motor is an example of digital output device. No sir. My answer is wrong. Yes. Yeah. Yes sir. Thoda dimag lagao baba. Just apply your intelligence. What are the what are the input given to an AC motor? Just think. You'll get to know that. it is fed with only two inputs one is no supply another one full supply are we giving any intermediate value to ac motor no that's why it is digital output device yes yeah mohyuddin yes sir i i understand now sir acha so actually uh, many people get confused that ac motor is an example of analog output device but answer is no because it is fed with only two values of supply one is 0 volt another one 230 volts based upon the rating of that motor so we always need to keep in mind that what are the different data values are fed to the motor Are fed to the devices. Accordingly, we can classify that into analog output device or digital output device. If this is clear to everybody, I will move further. Yes, sir. Clear. Ah, uh, Ishran, you are sitting quietly. Are you talking something? Ishran Ali, audio is bad. Is your? Okay, no problem. I got your uh, answer. I'm moving further. Let us quickly see the last, uh, last type of device discussion and their example, which is nothing but analog output device. Now, my dear, this example, one, you all from the side of me, is. From, sir valves sir valves valves uh, from 
इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियर्स की तरफ से होने का है मेरे को सर वैल्व्स वैल्व्स ओके हाउ कैन यू से दैट वैल्व फॉलिंग इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ एनालॉग आउटपुट डिवाइस सर वी कैन सेट द वैल्व टू एनी वैल्यू सर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो वैल्व्स व्हिच वैल्व but valve is not is not electrically operated no doubt valve is falling in the category of analog output device but this is not electrically operated what can we do pump which pump Which pump you are talking about? AC pump or DC pump? Sir, AC pump only. Na. Abhi to bolle na. AC is falling in the category of. Ah. No. Digital output. The DC. The DC pump. DC pump. Ab to wo to already hai jai. Hai tere wo. So rule out. Any other example? Soch ke bolo. मैं गारंटी से बोल सकता हूँ ये डिस्कशन तुम लोगों को इंटरव्यू के साथ काम आएगा चलिए थिंक एंड टेल सर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ रिकॉर्डर्स सर रिकॉर्डर्स एग्जांपल चार्ट 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 रिकॉर्डर्स मैं आपको क्या बोल रहा हूँ आपको यू नीड टू थिंक ऑफ आउटपुट डिवाइस कैन बी इलेक्ट्रिकली ऑपरेटेड एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग डिवाइस Okay, we'll give you sir, one minute. Switches, you are saying. Yes, what are the what are the data uh, what are the data which we can feed to uh, switches? Sir, electrically. Oh no, what 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 feed will we feed? Is it more than two? Yes, sir, more than. How can you give example of such switch? Sir, push button. Push button. On off. No, no, no. Do you remember? No, on off. डिजिटल हो गया ना एंड दैट इज इनपुट डिवाइस नॉट आउटपुट डिवाइस बिकॉज मैकेनिकल मूवमेंट इज अप्लाइड टू स्विच हियर वी वॉन्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल मूवमेंट टू बी अप्लाइड टू द डिवाइस बिकॉज पी एल सी इज गोइंग टू गिव दैट डेटा चलिए मैं आप लोगों को एक हिंट देता हूं थिंक अबाउट सम मोटर विच टेक मोर इनपुट डेटा चलिए आप लोग कौन से कौन से मोटर्स पढ़े हैं अब तक टेल मी अपार्ट फ्रॉम डीसी एसी इंडक्शन मोटर वो तो एसी हो गए ना Have you heard about the word stepper motor? Synchronous motor. Yeah. Synchronous motor to AC, na ji? Have you studied stepper motor? Padha hai? Yes, sir. Padhe. Chill. Just guess. Okay. Just apply your intelligence and tell me how we can uh, uh, operate a stepper motor. सर्वो मोटर इज एनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ 
servo motor is another example of analog output basically we restrict ourselves to the discussion of stepper motor and servo motor under this category may justify karunga how these two motors get more data from plc that is more than two output values okay first let us consider stepper motor are you ready for that yes sir ready ha ah, okay you see stepper motor if we see the block diagram apart from vcc and drum it is having is having few other inputs and that is called as stepping pulses stepping pulses पहले मैं क्या करूंगा विल ट्राई टू कंप्लीट सर्वो मोटर देन आई विल मूव टू सर्वो मोटर फर्स्ट कंप्लीट स्टेपर मोटर देन आई विल मूव टू सर्वो मोटर ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जो जो डिस्कशन हो रहा है आप लोगों का इसलिए आई एम टेकिंग टाइम ओके यू सी द स्टेपर मोटर आउटपुट इज इंक्रीमेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टेप्स so output of stepper motor kit uh, 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 okay is uh, uh, initially zero degree no step applied one when when one pulse applied it is incremented by one stepping angle if suppose stepping angle is 30 degree okay in second case 2 into 30 is how much 60 in third case 3 into 30 is how much 90 okay if suppose we apply the fourth pulse fourth is the 120 fifth pulse five three is the 50 150 uh, sixth pulse 180 seventh pulse 210 eighth pulse 40 9 pulse 70 kita 270 tenth 300 11 th 330 12 360 to complete one revolution how many pulses are needed how 12. many pulses are needed 12, 12, 12. pulses are needed. 12 clocks will again so kya bolenge 12, 12 clocks are needed to complete one revolution so that's why it is called as analog output device the important discussion hai notebook mein likhna chahiye aap logo ko recording to dunga main ummeed kar raha hu ki aap log apne notes ko reach karenge okay is it so ओके okay. अभी इधर देखिए आई होप स्टेपर मोटर इज वेरी क्लियर टू एवरीबॉडी यस फ्रॉम द पीएलसी वी गिव स्टेपिंग पल्स एंड अकॉर्डिंगली द मैकेनिकल मूवमेंट इज इंक्रीमेंटेड ऑफ द मोटर नाउ लेट अस सी अबाउट द सर्वो मोटर सर्वो मोटर servo motor servo motor can be ac servo motor or it can be dc servo motor dc it can be ac servo motor or dc servo motor that is not very important but instead what is important how servo motor is different from other motors that is important so apart from i am considering dc servo motor apart from reference voltage and ground applied to servo motor there is one more input given to servo motor and that is called as feedback yes no yes no yes sir accordingly the speed of motor is accordingly the output speed is getting controlled so more the uh, feedback the higher the speed less the feedback the lesser the speed 
that's why there are more input fed to servo motor that's why it is falling in the category of analog output devices hope it is clear to everybody yes sir okay let us quickly go to the textbook discussion the textbook discussion चलिए जैसे देखिए दिस इज एक्चुअली एनालॉग इनपुट डिवाइस पिक्चर पुश बटन स्विच दिस इज आल्सो द सेम वन दिस इज एक्चुअली सिंबल्स ऑफ हां डिजिटल इनपुट डिवाइसेस ओके ये आई वाज टॉकिंग यू अबाउट लिमिट स्विच ना दिस इज लिमिट स्विच व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन आवर एलिवेटर्स राइट प्लीज एक्नॉलेज जी सर Huh. Now next come to analog input devices. First one, I, as I told you, potentiometer. This is the uh, potentiometer cross-sectional uh, uh, pictures. Uh, whatever discussion I have given you, that is enough. You can restrict yourself to that only. But uh, uh, you can see the information given in text also for reference. Okay, this is the electrical uh, diagram of potentiometer. ये भी बता दिया मैं आप लोगों को. This is input voltage and this is the आउटपुट कनेक्टर ऑफ पोटेंशियोमीटर ओके ये ने ऊपर भी जा सकता है ने नीचे भी आ सकता है अकॉर्डिंगली वोल्टेज कैन बी चेंज ओके चलिए थर्ड एग्जांपल ऑफ एनालॉग इनपुट डिवाइस इज एलवीडीडी ये मैं स्किप करा आप लोग कंसीडर कर सकते हैं एलवीडीडी बेस्ड अपॉन द पोजीशन ऑफ दिस नॉब द इलेक्ट्रिकल आउटपुट वोल्टेज कैन बी इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज करेक्ट जल्दी से बोलो यस चलिए Another example of analog input device, thermocouple. Already पढ़ी है, discuss करने की जरूरत नहीं है इसको. So many other example of uh, analog input devices: thermistor, RTD, IC temperature sensor, optical pyrometer, so on and so forth. So this is about analog input device. Now come to digital. Sorry, uh, uh, output device. Now come to digital output device. उसको ऑन ऑफ आउटपुट डिवाइस भी बोलेंगे फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज सोलेनाइट एक्चुएटर सोलेनाइट एक्चुएटर सो टू दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल इनपुट इज गिवन एंड आउटपुट ऑफ दिस एक्चुएटर इज मैकेनिकल मूवमेंट होप इट इज क्लियर टू एवरीबडी ये सर चलिए दिस इज एनेदर सोलेनाइट वेल ओके दिस इज इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल रिले This is electromechanical relay or simply relay. To relay, we give electrical input, and the output of this is the change of the position of the knob. This electrical uh, uh, relay, electromechanical relay, can be used to change the uh, uh, direction of the uh, 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 three-phase supply. So, sorry, motor, three-phase motor. If suppose three-phase motor uh, is running in forward direction. With the help of electromechanical relay, we can change it to reverse direction. Next, consider the example of analog output devices. First one, as I told you, stepper motor. Second one, servo motor. Okay, that's all from today's class. Hope you enjoy today's class. This is very very important. Yes, sir. We'll share, uh, share you the presentation. Okay, thank you for joining. Thank you sir you all can leave now